Okay, so rocker girl on the show today who's had her fair share of relationship scars, but all she has to do is put on a particular pearl necklace, and all of a sudden, she is not afraid. Here is Stephanie Smith. I can't live without my... Oh, rapid fire. Ah, uh, coffee. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> Starbucks fan. Yeah, yeah, I worked there for two years, so it's hard to break that addiction. Nickname I cannot get away from. Uh, Peanut. Wow. My mom still calls me Peanut. Don't you love it? Did she yeah. call you that in public? Yeah. Wow. In a little, like, Peanut voice. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Can't get away from it. Most embarrassing stage moment. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Um, I trip all the time, so I mean, I, it's gone as badly as I've tripped um, over my mic cord and it's unplugged the mic, and then I have to scurry and replug it. That was probably the worst, but I've also done the mic stand. You step on it and it hits you in the tooth. No way. Yeah, stuff like that. I feel like I tracked it. Okay, fill in this blank too. People would have no idea that Stephanie Smith loves green olives. Love them. So you get them by the jar? Uh-huh. Really? I can put a real dent in a jar of olives. <laughs> you got any? Alright guys, don't forget to visit us online, therevolutiontv.com. There you're going to find our 24-7 video channel. It's got all your favorite bands and of course, episodes of The Revolution. And if you need anything, just reach out to us. You're not alone. For 14 years, Stephanie Smith had never met her real father, and a girl needs her dad, you know? But whether life has you feeling completely alone and uncared for, maybe it's just you and your mom, maybe it's just you all by yourself, or you and a roommate, do not believe that you are completely alone, because the Lord is always by your side. He knows the hairs on your head. That's how much He loves you. So, don't believe that you're alone, because that renders you powerless. Here is Stephanie Smith talking about that very struggle that she had, but now she's not afraid. That song was inspired after I was walking away from a relationship, and it, where I was at that point, um, that was the second song we recorded for the project. So I had a, a pretty long haul ahead of me. To, it took us a year to record, and that was just like a month into it. And I knew that I would never have a first record again. And I just really felt like at that point in my life, um, God was just encouraging me to focus on one thing, that I had so much of myself that I could give, and I needed to give everything I possibly could. And um, that this was a season just for me and him to be walking through this project. And that there is no fear in that, because I'm never alone. And you know, because I walked in that obedience, I really know now, in hindsight, I'm better off. It definitely needed to happen. At the time, I couldn't wrap my head around why, but I just knew it needed to. First of all, people think my neck is pierced, but yeah, it's a necklace. <laughs> not, not sure how you would do that. Yeah. This um, I got when I was 13 at my first Pure Freedom retreat ever, and I've had the same pearl. The string is broke a few times, but the same pearl, and. It's basically a pledge that I'm waiting for my husband, that I really believe that that is the best way. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna stand here, or sit here on camera and say that it's easy, it's not. But part of what I teach with this conference, Pure Freedom, that I'm a part of now, is um, God's truth about it, that so often the church is afraid to talk about it, um, but God talks about it in His Word. And one thing that that this conference emphasizes is it's not about not having sex. It's about having sex the right way, in the right time, in the way that it was created. Um, and sometimes that's an uncomfortable thing to talk about, but God writes so beautifully about it in His Word, if you just look a little deeper. There's always hope, and in Christ there really is. Um, we would all be pretty screwed if there wasn't. <laughs> but that His grace is sufficient. We can take Him at His Word. Um, I believe that even the church has failed. We, we know what he says, but we don't believe what he says. So one of his promises is that um, we are washed clean in the blood of, of Christ. And, and that's a promise, and that's a truth, and, and I live by that. So if somebody has failed in one area or another, haven't we all? 
and you just have to believe that His grace is enough. I'm Stephanie Smith, and you're watching The Revolution. I think if the, if the MTV crowd knew what life with Jesus was like, they wouldn't pass it up for anything. Really, the life with Jesus, um, life abundantly, what He really, really offers, not the surface, not what the church has kind of become in America, but if they knew who Jesus really was and what He came for and what life with Him intimately is like, I know that some of those terms sound like, well, I've heard that before, but if somebody has tasted that, no drug, no one night stand, no party lifestyle could ever top that he's a blast, Jesus. <laughs> how is he a blast, realistically? Um, realistically, how has he changed your life? He absolutely has. Well, first of all, I think that Christianity sometimes looks really clean cut to maybe an outsider looking in, but it's not, it's messy. Because <laughs> God has uprooted things in my life that was not fun to walk through. It was not fun to let go of some things that I'd been holding on to, like relationships or finding my identity in fame or in a record contract, those sort of things. When he uproots that, because this life isn't about those things. Like when I die, I can't take my record deal to heaven. So um, he's a blast when you, when you understand the freedom that comes with life with him, that it's a bigger picture, there's more, and uh, there's no limit to the satisfaction that he offers. Because my record deal could go away tomorrow, and then who would I be? You know, I could lose a relationship overnight, and then who am I if my identity is in that? He's the only thing that doesn't change and doesn't go away, and he's the only thing that a foundation of identity can be based on. I think with things like technology, text messaging, and MySpace, it's so easy to be somebody that you wouldn't necessarily be um, face to face. And the more you do that through a text message or through MySpace, the more you post a comment on someone's wall that you wouldn't say to their face, the easier it is to kind of become that person. Um, so things like technology, these kids are texting dirty messages to each other, you know, but they wouldn't say that face to face unless they open that door with a text message. And then it's easier to, to walk in that. So um, we're seeing violence on TV, we're seeing this sort of thing. It's easier to see yourself doing that once you've been exposed to it and that door's been cracked. Um, how do we fight that or how do we, you know, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I really don't, but um, one thing I do know is that Jesus is still extremely, absolutely relevant and I think that it's okay to bring Jesus into um, our culture in new ways, like maybe so they didn't have text messaging when he walked this earth, but is he still the same today? Yes. And, is it working? <laughs> is the violence working? Is the one empty relationship after another after another um, working? And how's, how's, it, how's it doing for you? <laughs> um, there's one thing that satisfies, that satisfies to the fullest, and that's Jesus Christ. And until you've really walked with Him, tasted and seen, don't write Him off. Please don't write Him off. He is a Heavenly Father that is so in love with you. He is incapable of abandoning you. He's always right there by your side, concerned about your every move, your every thought. He knows the hairs on your head. That's how much he is in love with you. Don't write him off. That's right, you know, we do have a Heavenly Father in Heaven that loves us. He, he loved us so much that he sent his, his only begotten Son to die on this earth and, and be raised again to take care of our sin. And a lot of us don't have a good relationship with our fathers. A lot of us never had a father around at all. And so it's hard for us to comprehend that our Father in Heaven loves us and wants the best for us. But He does. And the best way to come to know His plans for you is to read His words. It's His love letters to you that He left behind so you get to know Him. And then spend time with Him in prayer. And His Holy Spirit will come through you and start guiding you into where you need to be. But it all starts with having a relationship with Him, and that starts by knowing His Son, Jesus, and accepting Him into your heart. If you have questions about this, just reach out to us at therevolutiontv.com. We're there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Reach out. Remember, you're not alone. The adventure is awaiting you, but all you have to do is ask. Thank you so much for watching The Revolution. That's it for us.
God bless you guys. If God be for you, who can be against you?